Hi guys, how are you? This is Leslie. Welcome to another of my videos. So today's video, I'm going to show you how I do my nails. I do a press gel X. Um, to do them, it's super easy and honestly, like, the less damaging than doing um, acrylics and they still look very good. Uh, so I hope that you like this video. I'm going to try to link all the products down below in the description box if you want to check them out and buy them and get them and try it out. Uh, but yeah, I hope that you like this video and without further ado, let's jump into the video. So I always start off by filing my nails just a little bit to get rid of all the shine and the cuticle and then I start measuring all the tips that I'm going to be using. Uh, sometimes I need to file the tips as well so that it fits from side to side on my nail otherwise it will pop off. I'm using these long coffin nails but I do cut them or trim them to the size that I want later on. And once I've selected all of the sizes, I do file the inside of the tips. This helps for the nails to stay longer and last longer. Usually they will last like two weeks, but doing this, it will last you up to three weeks. Once that is done, I do apply some nail dehydrator and primer to my nails. And you can also apply the primer to the nail tips as well. This will also help for the nails to last longer and don't pop off. For the gel, I'm using this one from Beatles. It says nail glue, but it's actually gel. Um, I do find it a lot better than the original Apris gel. Um, I start by applying it all over my nails first, and then I cure it under a lamp. I'm using a tiny lamp from the brand Beatles, which I'm gonna link down below for you guys. And once I cure all of my nails, I go ahead and apply some to the nail tips. I only apply to the part that it's gonna be on my nail, and then I apply a little bit more on the um, on the tip of it, like wherever it goes on your cuticle, so that you can glue it to your nail. This kind of lamps, I recommend turning it on first and then apply your nail. It would just be so much easier for you without like moving your nail too much and make sure to not extend the gel past your nail. Now that I have all of my nails, I can start trimming them. I do like like a medium size and I will go for an almond shape. So I do wanna start by cutting them with this kind of uh, nail trimmer. And then after that, I go with my drill and I file all of the cuticle area in case I have any extra gel. And it's also better so that it blends with your natural nail and that way it won't come off. Now, like I said, I do want an almond shape, so I go with these clippers and clip the sides, kind of making like a triangle on the nails. And then we will file the rest so it doesn't have to be super perfect. Now we take this nail file and shape our nails. I'm doing the almond shape and I try to go like back and forth between each side so that I do have a perfect shape. And once that is done, I go with my buffer and buff all of my nails this helps for the um for the gel polish to stay in and don't chip then i go with my gel base coat which you don't really need but if you want your nails to be stronger and like harder i would totally recommend that i apply that on all of my nails and cure that for 60 seconds and then i go with a light pink like nude ish kind of gel polish and also apply that as my base i usually like doing two to three coats so that it's not too transparent but again it's up to you you can paint them however you want now for the design i'm using this sage green gel polish from beetles as well i'm gonna link it down below for you guys um 
I kind of do some kind of like half circles on my nails. I don't really know how to explain it, but you can follow the video. And I'm also going to have it on my Instagram. Uh, if you want to guide yourself with a picture, I think it's a lot easier. But I start off with the gel polish, the green gel polish. And then I can switch to do white lines for the white lines. I do use a nail art polish, which I'm also going to link down below for you guys. Once I cure them and do the white lines, I can finalize with some top coat. I'm using this one that I also got it from Amazon, so again, I'll link it down below for you guys. And it is a no wipe uh, top coat. That means that you don't need any wipes or anything like that. It will be shiny and not sticky by the end. I cure all of my nails and I finalize with some cuticle oil. This is super essential for your nails so they grow healthy and faster. I like applying this at least once a day every day um, and I always like to finalize my nails with this kind of oils. So that's it for this video i hope that you really like it and if you do so don't forget to give it a big thumbs up let me know in the comments if you want me to do more of this kind of videos or like nail designs and i can definitely do that um but yeah i hope to see you on one of the next ones bye guys